So we know all life and all living organisms need carbon atoms. Because we know life, any given cell, any organism, is made up of these organic molecules, these carbon-based organic molecules. For example, nucleic acids, which create RNA and DNA. And also peptides and proteins, which are needed to create enzymes and structural proteins. Or maybe carbohydrates or fatty acids. The point is, nearly all living organisms and all life is made out of these carbon-based organic molecules. So therefore, you might wonder, where do organisms get the carbons they need to create all their organic molecules they need for life? Well, if you're an autotroph, you can simply take the carbon from carbon dioxide. We know in our atmosphere we have carbon dioxide, so if you're an autotroph, you can take that carbon dioxide from the atmosphere as a source of carbons to create all your own organic molecules you need for life. So that's very convenient. For example, plants, they can simply just take the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and fix it and use those carbons to create their own organic molecules. However, you can also have a heterotroph. So what is a heterotroph? A heterotroph also needs these carbons to create the organic molecules they need for life. But if you're a heterotroph, you get your carbons to create all your own organic molecules from other organic molecules. So again, the point is heterotrophs, they need to ingest organic molecules. They need to eat proteins and carbohydrates and fats. They need to eat other living organisms and, and, and other carbon-based uh, molecules to, as a source of carbons to create their own carbon-based molecules. For example, humans, we happen to be heterotrophs. So humans, we need to eat proteins and fats and carbohydrates. And we eat these, these macromolecules as a source of carbons to create our own nucleic acids, proteins, and carbohydrates. So heterotrophs, we get all, all of our carbons to create our organic molecules from other organic molecules, from eating other organic molecules. 